Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do smash that like subscribe button if you enjoy the videos and the readings. Um, yeah, so this is a Virgo channel, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. As always, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And the personal reading link is below the video in the description box. Okay, so guys, I hope you all had a great weekend. And going into this new year, let's see. This is going to be your singles reading. So let's see what energies we can pick up. If there's new love coming in or what you need to do for yourself as a single person, starting off the new year right. So let's get into it. Let's take a look and see what energies are playing out to start here for you guys. Um, also, don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Okay, so let's take a look. Virgo. Hey, everybody in the chat. Hope you guys are good. All right, let's see what energies. Karmic relationship. I feel like this just came out not that long ago. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, losses. No, lessons. Letting go and loving yourself. So, Virgo, <clears throat> as far as the karmic goes, um, this is maybe a realization for some of you that what you were in was a karmic situation, ship, or relationship with someone. It looks like you guys have let go um, or you're letting go throughout the month of January. You're making big changes in your life at this time. Look at that. You've got both receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, having some clover, clover, having some closure, closure issues. Perhaps it's difficult. Maybe there was no closure from a relationship that ended. Um, this could also be another person who is letting go um, by not having closure. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. You know, closure is an interesting thing. Sometimes situation evolves and there is no closure and it has to be given <clears throat> to self. Okay, you also have the chaser. Oh, there's two cards here. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment and not today not dealing with the hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. Virgo, it looks like you um, have someone who's going to be reaching out, trying to call you or trying to connect with you. And it feels like your thing is no, this, this relationship was karmic. This connection did not work. It was just triggering. There was a lot of turmoil. Um, lessons learned and i feel like virgo this is you now making healthier choices in your life in love and in life self-love self-care being happier um i feel like you don't want to talk to a karmic i do i feel like this person is going to be chasing after you in some way like i said um either showing up at your house <laughs> or somehow trying to get in contact with you through either having a conversation or calling or an in-person thing. I feel like you're putting boundaries up to a karmic or will be in the rest of January and you're just, it seems like you're just not dealing with this. Like some of you, it's like choosing yourself at this time, you know, um, going in through the month and letting go, giving yourself closure. All right, let's see what other information is coming up here. Yeah, so it feels like spirit needs to talk about this here for you. This is the nine of wands. This is a card of boundaries, putting up really, really hard walls, right? Not letting anybody in or not letting this karmic back into your life, okay? Is this person a bad person? I don't know, I don't know your person, but I know, it seems like the relationship in itself was toxic. And sometimes when people get into a karmic relationship, um, it, it, they're just talking about the, the relationship itself. Just it was toxic itself. The way you and another person interacted with one another became toxic. Okay. Um, and it needed to end. It needed, it, it, it came to an end. There was something here. Yeah, look, okay, karma, <laughs> Virgo. 
this is like an awakening you are having an awakening the more you go the more you avoid the more you are like not having a conversation the more you're putting up your boundaries that gives you an opportunity to heal so it looks like in january you're putting up those boundaries so that you can have this awakening for yourself to i don't know maybe just to kind of like do a reset you know, you're, you're doing some kind of a reset. Um, and there's no timing on this, you know, and for a lot of you, it's already begun for others. It's happening right now for the rest. Um, it's happening in January. I mean, this change though, feels like it will be permanent and irrevocable 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 like it's it's like a no going back here okay um okay for some of you this is with someone who was very cold uh lat had lack of emotion and it's a king of swords in the upright but it could be for some of you that what you experienced in the karmic with this person was maybe this person was a con artist or um they used bribery um, they gave a lot of validation, but it was false validation in order to get something in return. There might have been um, some type of, you know, it's it, it could be abusive. Um, there's corruption, okay? For others, I mean, this person might have came across to you at one point where they were very intentional, strategic, and, and like, you know, very honest. But it seems to me like this person... That King of Swords comes across always to me as like a game player. This is someone who's really strategic. <clears throat> so what are you guys opening up to seeing is that person, who somebody really is, and getting that clarity yourself as the King of Swords, being um, like very honest with self, being very self-sufficient, not leaning on this karmic any longer. Um, for your own validation being very intentional and thoughtful with your 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 thought the things you choose to think about Okay, uh, you're just basically picking a lane here in January A lot of you might have been really just kind of on the fence like is this a twin flame or is this just a karmic? It, it's definitely coming across as karmic and maybe you needed to validate that within yourself because you might have been a little confused but so January shows you really getting clarity about this okay and having a huge huge like it's a final decision definitely um it's a huge wake-up call for you as you move away from the situation or the, the karmic relationship okay yeah look at you ten of pentacles you are gaining your stability this looks lovely for january i mean you're sitting like on solid rock foundation I just see that about you. Um, some of you, I have to point out that there could have been a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra that you were connecting with. So, yeah, Virgo, I mean, it, it just really feels like, okay, you're leaving some kind of a legacy here. And inheriting the world you're leaving a legacy you're you're basically I don't know really what that means but I feel like um, there's something being written in stone here for you you're right you know like you're confirming something here this realization it's being confirmed or you're confirming it and I feel like as time goes by for you, Virgo, that's when things begin to open up for you and you begin to really see something for what it truly was. Okay. And I like that you're giving yourself the opportunity to let the fog clear. Once the dust, the dust settles, like you can't, you know, like if you take um, a cup of water and you fill it with dirt, stir it around it's hard you can't see through it because it becomes murky but if you just leave it alone and just allow all that dirt to just settle in the bottom things begin to get clear again and this is what i feel like is 
kind of happening for you here and you're taking that time out now i know not all of you i know a lot of you are already aware of something that you were connect someone a karmic relation that you had and whether that was emotion um romantic or platonic it could be a friendship or a family member there's this you know what virgo's like i'm not talking to this person or this group these groups of people i'm pulling back i'm gonna just let the dust settle so i can get some clarity and you're getting it all right and this person <laughs> i know this is singles reading but it looks to me like some of you um aren't going to be having anybody come in yet because there's clarity that needs to be had first within yourself okay which is fine um, maybe some of you have already gotten the clarity and you've already moved away from that energy and you're just hoping for somebody new. I mean, if it shows up, it shows up. But what seems to be most important is you not rebounding into another relationship and getting yourself back into another karmic relationship or back into this one. Yeah, because I feel like you need that time to process. And when you're kind of in the middle of like... <clears throat> trying to come to terms with a relationship or a connection with someone that really kind of was like a bait and switch maybe this person was all of a sudden on top of you like love bombing or being very strategic or like that con artist kind of energy it might have and you might have like fallen for the okie doke with someone but after a while that person might have switched switched on you and then became something else you know so i feel like there's a little bit of dissonance maybe some cognitive dissonance and you're trying to get like your head and your heart in alignment so this the, whoever this person is i mean the eight of wands this person that's my love bombing card so this person is definitely going to be either trying to come see you or sending you maybe valentine's something or other for valentine's or it's just but it's to start that early in like january i feel like there's going to be a lot of communication from this person trying to boom 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 these are like our arrows shooting 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 targeting you trying to get you know cupid's arrows trying to get you to understand that there is some love here there is this person very passionate about you but something here I don't know what happened in this relationship. Like I said, um, somebody was trying to get their needs met by way of manipulation or making you think that they were all in to having some kind of relationship with you and then possibly turning that around and being like, well, actually, um, now that I got you, I don't really need to put any work in. And so just completely like s switched is what I feel. So, okay, you walk away or they ended it, you ended it, whatever happened. And this person's trying, and it's hard for you, Virgo. I feel like you need to keep at some point, if, you know, if you're going to keep the blocks up, I feel like you need to maybe get another restrictive layer up there to protect yourself because there's definitely, okay, these cups, there is a potential new start here. There is a new love happening here. And are you ready for that, Virgo? Okay, because I do feel like you have someone here who's going to be like, if not physically chasing you, physically, you know, sending those texts, those calls, those letters, those emails, those messages. Um, let me see. Oh, there's your sign. Yeah, you've got somebody. Listen, Virgo, there is somebody showing up here. Um, this could be another Virgo. It could be a Taurus. Of course, it could also be. Um, okay, two messages. Hmm. Okay, well, this is a singles reading. There definitely is somebody coming in here trying to like make us a, a bona fide offer, something real, offer you something real. Now, for others, this could be the person you were connecting with before who, um, I don't know if you are like, if you ditch that person before in the past and they were being manipulative, they're going to come in with something um, tangible. All right. 
definitely coming in with some something tangible here that you know you could work with that's a little bit of a bloody stump there but you know it really just depends on you Virgo because I feel like if the relationship can be healed yeah it can and that is what the ace of cups is you know and I'm not making concessions for people that are like con artists I know there are people that don't know how to be direct and communicate their emotions and feelings and some people will use manipulation in order to get that across what they want you know um listen there's a thing called dark energy dark psychology dark energy the dark triad you know people use it all the time um like in business right car salesmen politicians they all use it they're all trying to get something so they it's not the greatest way to do it, <laughs> but it's it does happen, and, and, and that's just life, and I feel like it's really important that you as a person try to understand that there is dark energy the same way as there is white energy, you know, um, or light energy. People will come in with dark energy. The thing is, it's when dark energy is used in a personal relationship, like romantic or you know, uh, familial or something along those lines, that's really freaking scary. That is, that's completely different, you know. Um, I don't know why I'm bringing that up, but I feel like somebody here might, it might be that way in other areas of their life, using that dark energy in like sales and whatever else, and then it just kind of bled into their personal life or it tur something turned this relationship into a very karmic, I feel like a lot of you are, you know, you, you love this person, Virgo, um, to whatever level, okay, on the spectrum of love from one to 10, whatever degree you love someone, but you are like, you've made a decision or you're making a decision in January to let go. Because something here is telling me like it wasn't healthy and you're, I don't know that, that there was just for some reason it wasn't a workable, there were no workable solutions, okay? so. Does this person come to a realization, this past person, you know, that they need to stop with the games and the manipulation? Yeah, they could be getting truthful with themselves. But some of you might already be like, no, it's too late. You're moving on to new love. And and will they try to come in? Yeah. And make a solid offer? Yeah. But then there is a possibility that somebody else could be coming in and starting off on the right foot with you. Okay. So let me take a look at this new coming in. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Virgo. I don't know if you can hear all that noise. My my son and my grandson are outside playing race cars out in the living room. So I hope it's not resonating or reverberating through the audio. Um, um, yeah, Virgo, I mean, I hate to go here. I hate to go here, but we got to address the issue, okay? Somebody's coming in here to make a solid offer after betrayal or after, like, there's somebody here who's, who's hitting rock bottom, definitely. I don't know what happened, Virgo. It looks like you, you put some serious boundaries up with someone. Okay, so I know there's a percentage of you that are like, yes, this person I do love and I hope that they really like grow the F up. And for others, um, you're like, no, and that's fine. Then end the reading, right? For somebody new coming in though, I do feel like someone new here, you know, they went through their own struggle. They've gone through healing after betrayal for sure. So there might be some kind of common ground you and this new person might find yourselves on. Okay. Yeah, Page of Cups. Virgo, I just feel the need to tell you that, like, this is double energies here. Okay. I want to take a look at where you are, though, because we did see that you are getting yourself stable. Is Virgo, all right, for the Virgos who want this healing for this past situation, I'm going to address that. Okay. Yeah. I do feel like, for those of you who want this healing past situation, I do feel like you are you would be willing to talk if somebody was coming in with that bloody stump, okay? You will be. <laughs> I mean, there's a strong physical attraction to this person, this karmic, 
Okay. But I feel like for you, it's more along the lines with, you know, we can talk, but I need to see truth. Like, and it's got to be something pretty profound for you. They can't be just coming in with this Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. I just want to talk and, and flirt and all this stuff. And then just can we hook up and then that kind of thing. It's got to be more than that because you're, you, you like, you're looking for the full Monty here. <laughs> like full commitment. This is total commitment. This is like the finale, completion. You don't want just one pentacle. You want 10 of them. You want like this consistent, um, show me, show me, show me. <laughs> don't tell me, show me, right? So you would be willing to talk to this person if they've changed, if they are able to, if they've had a spiritual awakening. And I really feel like that's what this is all about because that hangman is like this, if this person is able to actually see um, their side of the story, you know, Virgo, you have yours. Let's not doubt that, right? Everybody has their, everybody, you know, it's, it was karmic. So there might've been a karmic, you both birthed this karmic baby in this relationship. And, you know, you created both of you together, interacting with one another, this karmic thing. The only way for that to end is to, for it to end and there to be healing. So I do feel like you would be willing to talk to this person if they really came in with like a, not a spiritual experience, like a full blown awakening, like a completely, this would have to be like such a major epiphany for this person. And Virgo, that is the exception to the rule. Okay. Because there are people you know, they could be in like 10 car accidents, almost be on the brink of death, and they still don't learn their lessons. And then there are those that it, they almost, you know, they almost got hit by a piano falling from the sky, and they have, their whole life changes, you know? And I feel like that's what you're looking for. You're willing to talk with a past person and heal a karmic relationship if there's change. Pisces energy there. Um, Scorpio energy here with the major arcanas. Okay. Other than that, Virgo, I don't see you accepting anything else from this person. And that's just it. Point blank period. So you've got somebody new here who's been through a similar situation. Okay. As far as betrayal goes, backstabbing. Um, and I feel like whoever this new person is, there will be um, some sweet messages or sweet texts or sweet calls or they're sweet on you. And I do feel like this person has also come to this place with a Ten of Swords where it's like they are so done of fake relationships. They are so done with people who are wishy-washy. Um, they've had their full share of that in their life and they just don't want that anymore. So they, you know, or something ended... They might have they might be a widow or something ended they have a child possibly or they may not have any children but they have this there's a connection also i'm just seeing to a little girl or a little boy with long hair okay so yeah i do feel like you will meet someone in january who's like the real deal for you okay and it has very similar energy as yours you know, I, like I was saying, Ten of Wands, this person is like completely, they're burned out. They're like, I just want to meet someone and we're on the same page and this person wants the same thing and Virgo wants the same thing I want. Virgo wants to, you know, start to cultivate a healthy, loving relationship. And yeah, it's, it's here. It's here, Virgo. I, I don't really feel like it's all that deep, Virgo. I, I feel like for you, um... You know, if you spend so much time trying to figure out, you know, if somebody's been treating you badly, okay, and then you spend all your time trying to figure out why and trying to fix the relationship, it doesn't matter why if the other person isn't willing to figure out why also and try to fix the relationship in tandem with you, okay? If it's that situation, they're not trying to, you know, participate and reciprocate and trying to heal the relationship then stop worrying about the why just look at the what what happened and what you need to do moving forward that's it 
it only matters if both of you are sitting face to face and you're trying to resolve the issues in the relationship and you're both willing to work it out together to solve it why this happened why that happened okay but if you don't have someone who's participating in that with you you have to cut it off and move on and open yourself up to new love so i do see a lot of you um are just it's like it is what it is if this person you know if the past person isn't willing to take a look at themselves with that hangman um, and make changes where they currently are whatever their situation is whether they're stuck in something um, if they can't get that inner wisdom or get a different perspective or even make a sacrifice to try to change this relationship for the better along with you it's no it's it's an it's done it's completely done and that's all you need to worry about okay so yeah you've definitely got some new love coming in here look at that you've got the ace of swords now so wow this is a victory situation this is like um truth i feel like there's going to be an initiation of truth you will know this person by um i want to say how crystal clear they are about their intentions with you you won't be left with that feeling of this is either too good to be true or this person, um, you know, there's bad vibes. Okay. No, the crystal clear intentions that will come from this person, you will be able to feel that energy from them. Okay. So let me see if we can try and figure out a core card, perhaps I'm try and figure out who this person might be. Oh, look. Okay. So queen of pentacles. So again virgo it's like i said <laughs> for some of you it's a capricorn um new 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 not your past capricorn <laughs> or it's a virgo or a taurus it's someone else like-minded very similar to you male or female masculine feminine energy so it looks really positive it looks really good this person is like expects the same things that you expect from a relationship okay um the queen of pentacles and this is just a little description about yourself you know um self-sufficient person very honest type of person someone who is resourceful um domesticated in a lot of ways okay um solid grounded practical a good leader someone who is wise with their investments not frivolous kind of person Okay, um, Virgo, I don't feel like you're you're looking for a match to yourself. Um, I don't feel like you're looking like you're done with greedy people, people who are jealous, anyone who's financially, you know, dependent on you when they could easily be financially independent. Um, you're not looking for someone who's jealous or just comes in with that lack of follow through. And I feel like this person will see you in them. Okay, so four of wands good structure, good foundation, very stable type of situation. A person who makes plans and has that follow through. Okay. Um, I do feel you may connect with this person um, at some kind of um, celebration or family event in January or some kind of a reunion or maybe a wedding or a party of some sort that you could be attending um, or an event of some sort in January. Okay, so this looks really positive. Okay, we have five of ones. Hmm, there's a competition. It could be at a sports game. I don't know what sports game is outside in the cold. Well, where, where I am, it's cold. But yeah, it could be at some kind of competition you might connect with this person as well, or a sport game of some sort. Or, I mean, you could be involved in some kind of physical activity where there's a competition. Um, it could be as simple as like just going out at night and, um, I don't know, bowling or <laughs> shooting pool or I don't know. Uh, these are the things that are coming to me. Where There's like a team. Could be a team sport of some sort. I feel like you may connect with this person. And there's like this little conversation that happens, but it's clear. Okay. All right. We've got a Leo here also. Okay. Yeah. There's something to do with the sport and strength. Something to do with... Hmm. 
Competition. Okay, they're just telling me, um... Oh, like a... Okay, bodybuilding competition? You know, with me, it's always some kind of, like, <laughs> physical fitness thing. But this, the way the strength card is coming out here, it, it in alignment with this Five of Wands, I feel like as far as meeting this person, it's something to do with power. Power and strength, okay? Power, strength, competition... Okay, that's interesting. Three aces in this new start, in this new beginning with someone. I mean, ace of swords, ace of cups, ace of wands. This is beautiful. Honestly, like there's definitely, well, the, the physical attraction, this person, will, very strong physical attraction to you. Okay, and just remember, for some of you, this could be this past person, but it doesn't matter. Okay, how they're coming in because, like I said, you gotta have like I need to see that spiritual awakening you have. Like I need to see the clip. <laughs> I need to see the real deal. You know, people and be weary because people can come in and be like, "Oh, I had this huge awakening and this happened and this happened." No, you gotta sit face to face with this person because you can tell the difference with someone who's like conning you. You know, like those. Um, you know those. Uh, what are they called? Those preachers that, you know, they put their hand on someone's head and that person pops up out of the wheelchair and they're walking and, you know, that kind of energy. Like, I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel like for you, like you, you've got to, even if you see it, what's the old saying? Believe half of what you see and none of what you hear, Virgo believe half of what you see and none of what you hear what you see question that definitely question that there's a lot of half truthers out there in the world okay so the lovers all right so you and this brand new person are definitely going to come together in january at least or february february valentine's day there's definitely an energy here of like both of you making the decision to be together which is beautiful okay could it be the new person could they come in with this or the old person could they be coming in with this huge spiritual uh like epiphany or something that actually happened to them and, and it like actually changed them absolutely Absolutely, they could be, you know, it could be both, but you have to like, at the end of the day, Virgo, be in your discernment, trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust what um, messages that you're getting, trust the vibes, trust the process, but most importantly, trust God, trust yourself. Okay, Virgo, whether it's the old coming back as well as the new, or it's just the old, or you're done with the old. That decision is there no matter what that person is coming in with. And somebody new, a new opportunity and a new chance to connect with this new person is beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. All right, let me take a look here and see what other message there is for you, Virgo, for yourself. What does Virgo need to know? I'm, I hope I'm not chipmunking tonight, you guys. See, I know a lot of people are like, this doesn't even sound like you. And as I said before, I speed the video up a little bit so it does make my voice sound like I'm a little more like Alvin and the chipmunky. Um, but if you don't like that, you can just slow down the video. You know you can do that, you guys, on YouTube. You just go up to your settings, and then it says playback speed, and then you can adjust your playback speed. So if you want to slow it down, you can do that, or you can speed it up and put and make me sound like, uh, I don't know, Alvin and the Chipmunks had a little baby. <laughs> it's up to you. So let me see, another message here for Virgo. What is another message here for Virgo? Does Virgo need to know? Wow, you have the four of wands again. Okay. Virgo, I feel like you are, I f so one of the questions usually in my singles readings, and I haven't asked them, but uh, in the past couple of uh, few singles readings, but the question is how, do, how does Virgo know if they're ready for a new relationship? Yes, here, because you're willing to build you're willing to um be successful it's just a matter of that you're willing that's really it you know like you need those three things motivation capability and willingness and you're willing that's how you know that you're ready for a new relationship okay 
if you weren't willing before or you didn't feel motivated or even capable before, um, that's because maybe either you're still healing or you're hurt or you have some trust problems um, and it's really hard for you to get back out there. But you'll know this time because of your willingness. Virgo, you're strong and I know that you don't give up. Okay. And you will search to the ends of the earth to find your perfect lover. You will. Perfect for you. Not a perfect person, but perfect for you. All right. Let me see. All right. We answered how you'll meet each other. Let me just ask what the characteristics of this potential new relationship will be like. Oh, wow. Okay. King of Cups. Emotional intelligence. So someone that has a high emotional IQ. Um, the characteristics is that there will be maturity, compassion, calmness, a caring, supportive energy, um, tolerance, um, affection. There will be charm, devotion, um, both being family oriented and a lot of generosity the dynamic, the characteristics and the dynamics. So very beautiful, a very beautiful uh, start with someone here. We have Pisces, we have Aries, Cancer, Scorpio. Let me see here, potential or possible outcome of this new relationship for Virgo singles. Oh, wow, look at that. The magician, amazing turning visions into reality. So whatever it is that you're envisioning or you have on your vision board or that you want to manifest in your life with someone, whatever that is for you, the opportunity to do that is here. Okay. Um, the opportunity to manifest what you desire in a relationship with another person and them with you is that you'll be able to do it okay and and so what i feel like the outcome like i mean that's even better than just the finale this is the journey this is the start of a beautiful journey with someone here so i mean virgo you know it's all up to you at the end of the day it's all up to you i do feel like a past person is having a little bit of a epiphany wake-up call that they were someone who was just kind of maybe playing some games or just someone who was in and out of your life. Um, they might not even realized it, maybe because you were letting them. Um, but it looked like this person is waking up to the fact that, I mean, there's definitely an attraction, a crush kind of thing. But this is very immature energy. And I feel like somebody here is kind of like, you know, realizing that um, when they reached out to you, they were reaching out to you so they could come in with this lusty spirited energy and then be gone in a flash. Okay. And I feel like this person is realizing that wasn't like that served no purpose for them really in the long run. Um, because I feel like this person is kind of on their own. Um, they might have other people around them or others that they talk to and still doing that same thing, but it's kind of like the same old thing over and over. And they are just creating karmic relationships with people, with others. And Virgo's like, well, it's not going to be with me anymore. So good luck. Yeah. All right. Let me get some Chinese signs, see what the messages here are. For the Chinese signs. Who is this? Who is the new person? They said. Okay. They could be a year of the horse, a year of the tiger, year of the snake. Okay. Year of the ox, year of the rat, year of the dog, year of the pig. We get a rat again. And a year of the monkey. Wow. Okay. All right. So let's go on to more messages for you, Virgo. What else do you need to know as a single person for January? What else does Virgo need to know? Oh, well, okay. I don't usually pull these cards, but I grabbed them by accident. And it looks like Spirit wants you to have some of these messages. So I'm going to 
try to keep it PG. These cards are not exactly PG. So if it's bad, I won't say it. I'll just hold it up and you can look at it. But if you're only in listening mode, you won't see it. So, okay. Okay, I'm not saying that, but I will show you. <laughs> All right, Virgo, do you see it? You see it? Okay. That's one message. Okay. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Ain't no Jesus Christ in this channel right now. <laughs> I'm not saying this one. So if you see it, you see it. Okay. All right. I'm going to do two more and then be done with this deck. But I guess there's something here, a little kinky, that you need to know. Okay. I'm not saying these cards. Nope, nope, nope. I'm respecting my sponsors. Okay, one more. Okay. What will it take for you to S-L-E-E-P with me? <gasps> not much if you're boring. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not saying that. I feel like maybe one of you are like, uh not if we're just gonna I don't know some of you are just like no that's fine I let's just lay down and have a um, sleepcation a sleep vacation let's just get together and let's just sleep let's just have a good meal and then just put the TV on and just relax and fall asleep together sure why not all right let me get some love messages for you Virgos I should go over to rumble because I could do that whole deck on rumble and there's no issue at all I don't know any other platform. If you know of any other platform where I could put those cards out that I just showed you, um, those triple X <laughs> cards and uh, not have a problem, definitely let me know. I know Rumble's not exactly the place. All right, let me see. I mean, it's, I think it's like really political, isn't it? I don't know. All right, Romance Angels messages for you Virgos. Okay. Religious factors. Wow. Okay. Jesus is like, no, I'm here. I'm here. Chill out with those cards. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Listen, Virgo, I have a need to tell you that whoever the past person, you guys had very different religious beliefs, perhaps. Okay. Or one was religious or spiritual and the other was maybe like non-spiritual. Okay. Okay. Definitely a blockage of some sort um, had a lot to do with why a relationship in the past turned karmic, turned unhealthy. Um, you could have been, Virgo, they're just saying, you could have been a karmic for your past person. Um, they might have done wrong to someone before you, and then you came in and showed them what's up. And I don't know if you were intentionally trying to show somebody what's up. I'm sure you did love this person, but I think that they got their karma through you for treating another person bad or other people. Yeah. Um, lesson learned might, might be for them. And I think it might be. I do. But I think somewhere along the line, this person like fell for you. And I don't know that they intended to. Okay. That's just a very strange message here. Okay, you've also got playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Virgo, this is a really strong message for you. Like, you are a very loving, fun, playful person. You know, um, you have that inner youth thing going on with you. It's really important to engage that aspect of yourself again going forward in a love relationship. Playfulness, laughter, uh, joking around with another person, having fun, you know, um, being silly together takes the stress off. Really. Laughter is a cure. I really feel like if you and another person can laugh, like don't be too serious. You've been through a lot, Virgo. Lighten the mood a little bit. Lighten yourself up. Let love come back in and be don't ever fear to be yourself and if you're connecting with people who are making you doubt yourself or they're looking at you with a side eye when you're being your playful fun self you need to get away from that person you do if you're like making jokes or you're trying to you know be your funny self and be playful and have fun and somebody's like um okay 
um, and they are like very serious and like acting like they're better than you, get the F away from that person because they have a serious problem. <laughs> they have a very serious problem. They're too serious. You got to get away because they'll never get your jokes. They'll never be, um, the relationship will not be fun. It will all be like, um, I don't know. It feels like harsh judgment, harsh judgment. Okay. And getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, a bond deepens. So this is about transparency. You know, you don't have to give away the kit and caboodle. You don't have to tell somebody your entire life story. Like don't vomit everything out in one meeting. Um, get it to know each other bit by bit. I feel like that's really crucial and really important for you. Okay, I want to get some messages of love for you going forward. What are the messages of love for Virgo? Okay, put away the computer, Virgo. Working less will help strengthen a relationship. Get out and do things together. When you connect with this person, talk about the things that you like to do, okay? Even if you do like to be on the computer, um, you know, even if this relationship begins on a computer, okay, um, put that computer away and, and both of you like connect in real life, right? In the real world, right? See each other. That like the physical is what strengthens a relationship. For those of you who have a long distance um, or come across having a long distance relationship, you meet someone who's from afar, which could be a blockage. Um, you know what? make plans to connect with that person or make sure that person is making plans to connect with you in real time in real life you know if that involves travel or whatever you don't want to get yourself like connected onto a relationship where it's built on the computer only it, it's really important you have to have that physical you do because there's so much missed if you don't have that physical, like you can't smell the person, you can't kiss the person. There's so much missing. Okay. Healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Okay. But only to, to be healed, not to linger, not to dwell and not to be kind of victimized or uh, re-victimize yourself. If you're going to go back and open up those old wounds or those childhood issues, you know, do it for the purpose of healing them. Okay. Um, this is not to open up healed wounds. <laughs> this is not to go back there and pick away and just make sure. No, right. If you have any old wounds that have scarred over that have never fully healed, yeah, this is about revisiting, but visit does not mean we visit permanently. It does not mean we're like gonna pitch a tent there and hang out for the whole year. No, we're gonna revisit them and then we're gonna forgive and we're gonna forget and we're gonna heal and that's how we heal. We forgive and then, well, not to forget, but we heal and we don't let it dictate to us anymore and we change things. That's the healing. Okay, and marriage is a relationship moving toward a sacred union. So very beautiful. Listen, Virgo, things are going to work out for you, um, but it's up to you to get yourself in a position of knowing when to put your boundaries up and knowing when to just say no to certain relationships or people. If they're not coming in, like ready to make that sacrifice for the relationship, not to serve you, but for to serve the relationship, then it's time to move on and open yourself for someone new because I do see that here for you. All right, you guys, I'm going to end your, your reading and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.